All right, folks, another update on the severe weather situation here for you. We continue to watch all of this. We've got a new warning that's actually popped up. This is really over Carroll County, so just outside the viewing area. A little bit of hail potential there. Kind of coming toward the area, a little bit southeast of Berryville, probably, I was going to say Green Forest, Cannibal area. Uh, so some hail you'll be dealing with, probably some gusty winds too in that area. Around the Huntsville area, very heavy rain coming down, some lightning with that. We take a look at the lightning detector and yeah, this one's got a lot of lightning over the Huntsville area. This one in northwest Benton County out toward Decatur. It's got a bit of lightning, but not a truly severe storm, just very heavy rain. And that heavy rain continues to fall right over I-49. Melissa's going to give us an update on what that means for the interstate. It's leading to some inter uh, accidents out there. Got a new storm also developing in Sequoia County, just north of Salisaw. A little bit of lightning with that one, but also that one's not severe. Here's the thing, folks. This boundary, it looks like it's just basically going to remain right over the top of us throughout the day. So once this activity moves north, what we're seeing south of Fort Smith, which is destabilization, warming, uh, more humid air mass, that does start to surge north as we go in the afternoon. So we'll have some of that instability to work with even in northwest Arkansas later in the day and in the evening. Uh, and that could lead to redevelopment of severe storms. I want you to take a look at this real quick. Uh, they just updated this at the Storm Prediction Center uh, to now include an enhanced risk over the entire area. So they're confident at the SPC that we'll see that redevelopment this afternoon. We'll be watching it for an update on the traffic situation right now. Let's go over to Melissa, Melissa Hall. Yeah, Darby, we've got three accidents out there right now. This one right near Winslow, exit 45. This is northbound on I-49. Multiple vehicles involved with this about six miles south of West Fork and really no alternate route for you. So if you're coming up north on I-49, you probably don't want to take that pig trail old Highway 71. So get ready. It is down to one lane there. The further north you get up into the northern part of Washington County at Johnson Mill Boulevard, we've seen multiple wrecks here the last couple of days with these very slippery conditions outside and right now there is one northbound as well and another northbound exit or accident rather this one just by that elm springs exit exit 73 single vehicle has hit the median now cars moving over for it but it's going to be that one on i-49 near winslow that's going to be causing some major backups and as you look a little further south well you could see that near the Bobby Hopper tunnel, which is just south of that exit, things are very foggy outside. So you've got to deal with the slick roads, the rain that has come down, and also those low lying clouds. We're going to be back here in just a little while with the very latest.